This morning, Joshua Jones is down at Bigot's Wharf, loading up with farm chemicals. OK, Spanner, lift away. Fairport, come here. That's nasty stuff in those drums. To me now. Keep it coming. No, Spanner, not there. Spanner, that stack's too high. Too high for what? Oh, Strew, take cover! Come on! Come on! I'm coming! I'm coming! Get your head down! Um, What do we do now, Josh? We get ourselves some protective gear and clear that lot up. Can't we leave it till after me dinner? No, we can't. For once, Wilton Cashmore seems to be in his boss's good books. That's very kind of you to say so, Mr. Bigot. Oh, yes, I do like a bet on the horses. Oh, you got a hot tip. Oh, hold on a second. I'll get a pencil. Right, uh, the horse is Bigot's banquet. Oh, and he can't lose. Mm. I'll certainly put a bet on. Oh, uh, Mr. Bigot, may I? No problem cleaning your plate, Spanner. Yeah, well, it's cleaning that blooming wharf that's given me an appetite. Josh, come quickly. There's something wrong with Fairport. I think he's hurt. He was, like, bumping into things. What's the matter with him? Hard to tell. Oh. Seems to have got something in his eyes. White powder. Oh, Struth. It's that stuff. You're quite safe, little chap. We'll be there in a tick. He's... He's, he's, he's not going blind, is he? That's too early to say, Josh. Now, there's a new eye ointment I'd like to try, but it's very expensive. Perhaps 30 or 40 pounds. <sighs> Whatever you think best. Josh, where are you going to get 40 pounds from? No idea. Ravi and me could earn the money for you, couldn't we? Yeah. How? Oh, we could. We could do a sponsored walk. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Josh? I think I'm very lucky to have such good friends. Thank you, Daphne. I knew I could rely on you. How are we doing? We still need more sponsors. Who haven't we asked? Oh, hold your horses, Mr Cashmore. Oh, give us a rest. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? It's heavy, Mr Cashmore. Nonsense. It's just out of condition. Worth a try. Oh, hey, blinking head. It's always me that gets the heavy work. Ooh. Everybody else is helping, Mr Cashmore. Even him? Yes. Spanner's going to walk with us, aren't you? Am I? Spanner? <laughs> Spanner couldn't walk more than a... Hang on just a minute. I've reconsidered. I will sponsor one of you for two pounds per mile. What do you say to that? Oh, Daddy, thank you. Who? Spanner. <laughs> I hope you've got some good soles on those boots, Ravi. This just like start of Olympic marathon, what I see on telly. It's good legs that he'll need, eh, Mrs. Carrier? Well, he does enough cycling. And it's a lovely day here at Ainscott for what, for me, is the highlight of the horse racing season. The Aren't you coming to watch, day. Mr. Cashmore? They're just about to ah, set the off. Horses are now coming into the parade ring. Do you panic, folks? I'm here. What on earth have you got in that rucksack? Well, there's two basins of my treacle pudding. And a whole load of other stuff what Mr Cashmore gave me. Just trying to help the boy along. Trying to slow him down, more like. Right, everybody. Best foot forward. Sure. I'm just wondering, which is my best foot? Oh, <laughs> use either of them. They're both lovely. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm glad Spanner's carrying that rucksack, not me. I hope he's still with us. He just better be. Treasure? Are you all right? Oh, I'm having a bit of trouble with my legs. They... Oh! Won't do what I tell them. Argus fancy, ten to one. Bigot's banquet, favourite. Favourite? Well, I'd rather give my money to the lifeboat fund. No, the horse for me is Lord Nelson. Hi, Bapu. Aren't we doing well? Spanner's behind us, somewhere. Can you make sure he goes the right way? Aye, aye, Josh. Message understood. Right, left, right, left. Oh, right. It's no good I'm done in. I need some of Sharon's treacle pudding to get me strength up. Oh. Oh, I can see the horses now making their way down to the start. I'll hand you straight over to Gerald Platt. Hey, clear off. Get your own dinner. Bickett's banquet seems to be giving his jockey a bit of trouble. Get a grip, man. He certainly looks raring to go. Oh, 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 ah! That's my boy. They're understarted orders and... Oh! They're off. And it's Argyle's fancy looking good, followed by no right turn. But it's big, it's yes, basically moving up on, on the come position. on, come on! Have a look at the job, man. It looks like they're all over. Yes, they're all over. <laughs> Argyle's Get fence away. doing well, but it's Bigot's Banquet Ooh. coming up on the Ooh. inside. The rest of the field close behind. Ooh. They're at the water jump, and Bigot's Banquet just Ooh. flies in. Style. But there's still three furlongs to go. The right turn pressing hard. Oh, and Lord Nelson followed. Oh, come on, Nelson. Followed by Daniel Foley. And a It's Lord Nelson showing Ooh. on the outside. Get off your bonnet. Right What's up with you? Still Bigot's Banquet Ooh. out in front. No, Spanner. Oh. Turn right oh. here. To starboard. Oh. oh, you're going the wrong way. There's no stopping him now. At the finishing post, it's Bigot's Banquet. Yes, followed by Daniel Oh, oh, I expect he just gave up. Ooh, that Spanner. Wait till I get hold of him. Our boy Spanner not made it, eh? <laughs> oh, what a shame. That means I don't have to pay up, doesn't it? <laughs> Mr Cashmore, it's Spanner. He wants to know if you'll give him a lift back from Cranford. He must be joking. Let him walk. But that's nine miles away. That's 18, 18 times, times 2,000. 36. Yeah. Daddy, we've worked out how much you'll have to pay when Spanner gets back. It comes to 36 pounds. 36 pounds. I've been stung. Ooh, I think I've worn the soles off my feet. You're terrific, Spanner. What? You're our hero. And here's your special reward. Treacle pudding? No! Stings! Keep it away! Keep it away! No! There you are, Fairport. See anybody you know? <coughs> you can see how wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Thanks, Daphne. <laughs> Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Tree.